Cloth face masks have been in high demand since the early days of the pandemic, and now that demand is expected to only climb even higher because of the mask mandates you just heard about in several major Ohio cities, including here in Cleveland. A Cleveland clothing shop has been working to meet that need now for several weeks. And Jay Jarvis is live in Cleveland. And Jay, they've recently expanded their mask line, even including some dolls along the way, too. Yeah, that's right, Kevin. The yellow cake shop even has face coverings for your dolls. Now they say they made those by accident, but their extensive line of masks for humans is a full scale operation created for a very important purpose. Now, just a few months back, they started creating basic white cotton masks. Then they added nose wires, different colors and patterns, ones for kids, ones with ventilator valves, and of course, the ones for dolls. Owner and founder Valerie Mayen says to date, they've handmade 30,000 face coverings their staff of sewers increasing from five to 35 they're on sale they're they're for sale on their website but they've also been donating them through their buy one donate one match program when someone buys a face covering on their website yellow cake then donates one to an organization or person in need mayan says they've also provided face coverings for the entire fleet of rta employees employees at all of dave's supermarkets and 8500 masks for all of lutheran ministries homeless shelters our motivation is really just to do our part. You know, when we first started making the masks, initially we were just going to make 500 just to donate. And we were going to use our own funding, but Clevelanders really wanted to get behind us and everyone kind of, I think, wanted to do their part to support how they could and where they could. So, um, yeah, we, we ended up making way more than we anticipated. Now, Yellow Cake also has a face mask vending machine set up inside the LGBT Community Center of Greater Cleveland. They're also looking into partnering with the airport to get some PPE vending machines in there as well. Live in Cleveland, Jay Jarvis, News 5.